I wanted to jump on tonight and show you one of my favorite yoga poses, something that I do before bed almost every night, I think every night. And if I travel, um, I like to do this pose, even on the uh, hotel room, just put a towel down and just do this pose. So we're going to begin. So hopefully you can join me and let me know what you think. So we're going to start with some breathing. I'm going to jump over onto my mat. Hopefully you can see me okay. And hopefully you can hear me okay. So we're going to, if you can, come to your knees. And I'm going to take a few deep cleansing breaths. You want to start to tune into your body. So if you want to sit cross-legged, go ahead and do that. You want to be nice and comfortable. I like to close my eyes and bring my attention inward. You like to have your eyes open, gaze at each of the fingers. I'm going to take a nice, long, deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And allow your belly to expand the body to open. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely letting go. Inhaling deeply through the nose, allow your belly to expand, the body to open. Exhale through the nose or mouth, letting go. Take another nice, long, deep cleansing breath in. Exhale. Softening the shoulders, just letting go of your day. Just tuned in to the body and to the breath. And scan your body from head to toe. You're just noticing anywhere you might be, where you might be holding tight achiness. Just allow the area to soften. Let's take another breath. And exhale. Perfect. So just like any yoga practice, you really want to pay attention to your body and just notice what feels good to you. Notice how you're feeling. Maybe this pose isn't for you, even if it is a gentle pose. Just be tuned in to what is right for you. So um, it's a variation of the leg up the wall pose, and I love this pose. It helps to calm me down at night, uh, rejuvenate my legs and my feet. And so the variation we do tonight, I'm using a chair, but you can use your bed, you can use the wall, you can use a yoga block. So. Here's how I like to do it. So I just have either my yoga mats or a towel on the floor or a blanket on the floor. And I come as close to my chair as I can. And then I bring my legs right up onto the chair or your bed. Um, want to make sure that your knees are protected. So if the chair is too short, you have long legs. I don't have that problem with short legs. I just want to make sure that there is protection behind the knees and that your legs are at a 90 degree angle. You wanna make sure your lower back is nice and comfortable. So adjusting the lower back. And also wanna bring the shoulder blades down, making the body nice and comfortable, tucking the chin to lengthen the neck. And then you can bring your hands down beside your body. Or if you wanna add some shoulder stretching into this, which I know, frequently do. You can bend the elbow shoulder height and palms to sky. So for tonight I'm going to bring my hands down. So here you can stay here for as long as it feels comfortable to you, as long as this pose feels right for your body. You want to pay close attention, tune into how this feels. Again you can use um, a towel or a blanket into your lower back if you need to adjust and become comfortable. But this is very comfortable for me. You can also bring something under your neck or your head, like a small towel or something. So 
So just I lie here and I just take some deep breaths, just allowing the body to relax, just letting go. Inhaling deeply through the nose, allow your belly expand. And then exhaling through the nose, your mouth and belly comes to spine, just letting go. And pay attention to the body, noticing the breath, keeping your mind to the breath. Just focusing on the breath as you let everything else go. And then as you lie here and breathe, do you want to just stick in, scan the body and just notice how this feels if you need to adjust the body in any way. And again, come back to focusing on the breath as you let everything else just float away. Inhaling deeply and exhale. Inhaling deeply and exhale. You want to Please hold your pose for at least five breaths or longer. And then when you feel ready, you want to bring gentle movements back to the body, especially if you've been in the pose a while. Just bend the knees to chest, relax your shoulders, and if it feels good, bring the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, rounding the back, shoulders down, and then release. And then rolling to one side into fetal position and then gently make the way up back up either onto your knees or sitting on the floor and I just like to take a few breaths here as I transition from that pose before jumping up and walking just taking a few breaths <sighs> Just take another breath. And exhale. When you're ready, just bring your hands together to the heart center. Take a deep breath in. And bowing your head. Together we say namaste. Namaste. So that's a simple and very effective pose. Again, you want to stay tuned and listen to your body and know how that feels for you in any yoga practice, in any practice. You just want to be tuned in to yourself. So I'm, um, I hope to do more of these because I, I feel yoga has been a big part of my life, especially gentle meditative practices have been such a huge um, transformational tool for me. And so I want to share the things that has helped me um, throughout the years. And um, I'm teaching a class online tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you're welcome to join me there. Um, if you are interested, leave me a comment and I will send the information to you. Okay? So that's your yoga with Mary tonight. Hopefully uh, you were able to join. And if not, if you just joined us, go back and re-listen. And hopefully you were able to hear me and see me. And have a good evening. I'll be back tomorrow morning to set our intention tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.